Greetings, this is Daniel Tal from Placemaker, and I am going to review Placemaker for Revit over the next series of videos and show you the different ways you can use it, how it works in general, and the credit system to import in all the 3D data into Revit. I'm going to show you how to get started with Placemaker. I'm in Revit, I have the 3D view set, and I have the Placemaker add in tab opened. You can see all my options here. I'm going to click on Select Place, and that's going to bring up my map. And I'm going to import in a location here. I'm going to do Boston, do a little area of Boston, Massachusetts, right there. And we're not going to do a big area. I'm going to do a small area because that works quicker, and most projects really are going to be smaller. So I can zoom into my map here. We'll give it a second as it does it. And I'm gonna build this little area in here. I can select an area. It's gonna give me a box to select the location I want. I want this park and the buildings on the road. And I'm gonna hit import area. And that's going to load the snapshot of this location into, into Revit. And there you have the location image. And this is the base that you now use for all the other data that we want to bring in here. From the high resolution aerials, the roads, terrain, whatever it might be. And that's what I'm going to explore with this example. And the next step, and the next step that's worth doing is looking at how to import the aerial and the aerial options that we have available for Placemaker.